Hi, here's Shimon Bochnak from Microsoft 365 at work. Today I prepared second recommendation list of the Teams application that you need to try on your Office 365 environment. Welcome in Microsoft Teams best applications ranking that you can deploy in your environment for free. Today I gather five applications that could help you to work better. Few of them are really great templates that you can use whenever you want. So took one Microsoft provide for you and then extend it to your internal needs. It could be issue tracking, idea management, approvals, reminder, so it's a very simple bot, or resource center, so knowledge management or centralized place when you can store all templates and documents that all users would, should have access to. I highly recommend to try this application, see how they work in your environment and adapt it to your needs. If you're looking for more ideas how to use Microsoft Teams or Office 365 to benefit for your organization, please subscribe the channel, see other videos. If you like the video, leave the thumbs up. You will also find a lot of additional inspirations for you on my blog office365adwork.com. For now, I will switch to my screen and present you the new recommended application that I highly recommend you to try on your Office 365 environment. The first application on the new top Microsoft Teams apps I would like to recommend you are approvals. Something very simple application that will help you to centralize the list of all approvals across Office 365 where the Power Automate is included to deliver the approval process. Then this approval will appear here. From your perspective, it could look very simple, but having the one place when you can see all approvals which are sent by you to somebody or received from the application. For example, this, this approval is delivered by the publishing process of SharePoint Pay and you can get that directly to your Microsoft Teams and you can easily approve that using approvals. You don't have to go through dozens of SharePoint pages, just use the approvals, you will get the all requests there. Moreover, all requests that are sent by you is will be also presented in here. So you can take control where you are and what's happening in your environment from perspective of the approval process. One more thing which you can do is also to start the approval directly from here and you can send it to other users using approval app in Teams. Very simple application helping to centralize the way how your approval workflows working in your environment from one panel. To add the application just go to apps and there search for the approvals. As soon you will find the application add it application will be automatically added on the left side navigation. The second application on, for Microsoft Teams I would like to recommend you is Resource Center. Application that is mixture between the bot that could advise great information hosted in Resource Center. This is the central place where all documents or templates or te training materials could be shared with your users as a landing page application in Microsoft Teams. Something very similar to the Microsoft Learning Pathways, but this is more helpful from perspective of how to use Teams, how to centralize the templates across the organization. And this is set up based on data already shared by Microsoft. But at the same time, if you will go to the admin center, you can manage this content. So you can create your structure, you can create your materials, deliver here the video trainings, the templates of the documents, templates of the presentations, word files, maybe images, logo, branding of your organization. Very simple application which helps to centralize the way how you deliver content for your users from perspective of your organization. To add application, go for apps, search for resource center and add it to your Microsoft Teams. As soon as you will do that, it could be required to do additional authorization of the application in Microsoft Teams and approving permissions for the app. As soon as you will do that, app is available for you. The third application on today's recommendation list is Remind. Super simple app 
that help you to set up the reminders in Microsoft Teams when you need to be reminded about something. You can use this application to set up the reminder, which will deliver automated notification that will be delivered to you by bot in set up time frame. You can see, you can use natural language to set up the reminder. Bot will remember about your tasks and send you reminder to do something. This is not the complex application, rather fun app that could help you, but still could be very useful from perspective of the daily work. So if you need to optimize the way how you work, use Remind. This is the custom, not Microsoft based application but could help you to work on something during a day. Bot is ready to go. To add Remind app, go to apps, then search for Remind and decide when do you want to add it to the team, to the chat or to the meeting. After this action, you will be able to work with it. The fourth application I would like to recommend today is Idea Management Solution for Microsoft Teams. Power Apps based application that allows you to organize the process of gathering the feedback and ideas around the team. The application is split to two elements. One is managing the ideas when you can create the campaign. So decide whenever how long you want to gather the feedback from your team members, how it should be presented, how it could be structured. And it will allow you also to manage existing campaigns that are during the process of gathering the feedback. It is quite simple, but because of whole configuration which is behind, it will give a lot of possibilities to adapt it to your needs. In presented idea, you can see that this is more connected with the office management, but you can switch it to the IT, to HR, to any kind of Kaizen process which you want to implement in your organization. It is predefined, so you don't have to develop anything. You can just start to work on that. The second application that is present there is ideas in general. So the front end that will be delivered to your customers, internal customers in your organization, where people can vote for the ideas, can share the ideas around the campaign. So you can see it is simple application that will help you to gather the feedback and ideas across your team or across your organization and it's free, you can deploy it by a few clicks. To add application to your channel, because this is the place where the app works, just click the add button and search for employee ideas. And remember, the application will deploy two tabs, one for the management of the ideas and the second that will be delivered to end users. The last but not least application I would like to recommend you today is Issue Tracking, another application provided by Microsoft using Power Apps for Teams, which is more or less some kind of small help desk solution for you. So it will be something that will work quite well for the smaller organization. Again, you can see you have two tabs in your Microsoft Teams channel, managing the issues and issue reporting. From perspective of the managing of the issues, you can create the categories how you want to categorize and gather the feedback from your users about the problems, challenges or requests from your organization members. Again, you can see the basic template is more office administration oriented, but you can add additional categories like IT requests, HR requests or maybe holiday requests. Again, this is a very simple solution but could standardize the way in smaller organization how you gather the requests from your team members. If you want to send the request, again, you have additional tab to do that. Report the issue. You can assign the category. You can see how many of them there are, are predefined. But again, you can switch to your predefined templates, which you would like to add here and then manage the whole process in the behind. What is most important, you will see that the requests that are registered in the application will be landing in the planner created behind. So every person that will send the request like this one, we are out of paper, will be saved in the Microsoft planner created behind the team. So again, very simple solution, working quite smoothly, something that you can adapt to your organization needs without any kind of development highly recommend to try it. To add this kind of application to your Microsoft Teams channel, just select plus button and look for the issue reporting solution. This will deploy PowerUp application on your Microsoft Teams channel. 
with two tabs, one for the management and one for the end users to report the issues. Thanks for watching this ranking of top applications that I recommend this week. I highly recommend you to spend some time with them, to play with them, reconfigure them and see if you can adapt them to what your organization locally needs. Feel free to change them, to reconfigure them. I believe you will find the right solution, how you can use it to benefit your needs. Again, thank you very much for watching and time spent with me and see you in next video.